Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap, Wednesday, April 7th. Uh, another nice green day today, plus $885. Let's go over these, I'll show you what we did here. Starting with the Mighty 90, slightly in the red on the Mighty 90s, minus 80 uh, for a net total. Uh, Amazon was a winner for 120, Disney was our loser for 380, and then had a winner in Facebook for 180. No pairs trades today on the runners. Uh, plus 965 total. Airbnb was 140. Facebook plus 240. Lemonade plus 228. My biggest winner for two days in a row was MU plus 797. Uh, Uber minus 380. And then Zoom, a small loser for $60. All right, so let's go over these, starting with the Mighty 90 in Amazon. So in Amazon, I had this initial push higher. Uh, right into a key level here with a nice spike in volume. So I got short and it rolled over. I got out of half just on this little move. We were trading the two day options today. So that moves really quick with the price moving to the stock. Got out of half of my position right there for over 10% profit. Uh, it, it, then it started to push up and started to push. It was holding above yesterday's high. And when it made this push up here and kind of chopped around a little bit, I just bailed on the last half. And, uh, and took my $120 and ran on that one, which ended up being a good choice because Amazon continued to push and grind higher. So good exit there. Uh, Disney was a loser. Disney was uh, minus 280, excuse me, minus 380. So let's take a look at Disney. Disney had this push lower. Uh, it was kind of scaling up higher, higher volume. I actually, in hindsight, I mean, that that's not really the kind of volume spike or heightened volume that we're looking for to enter. Uh, I entered right here, it's because, partly because it was coming down into this key level. Uh, it, I thought it might have a chance to bust back up into positive territory, but instead it pushed lower. So ultimately, I mean, if I'm looking at this in hindsight, I probably would have waited to get in here, which if that was the case, I would have had a smaller loss or potentially even, uh, even made money on this one, but ended up taking a loss. Just kind of chopped around, chopped around, chopped around. Finally, when it pushed up a little bit, it gave us a couple of green bars. Went ahead and just cut out. Obviously, a little bit later, it pushed up a, a decent amount more. So could have, uh, could have. But following our rules, needed to get out. So ended up taking a loss on Dizzy Disney, Facebook. Plus one eighty on my mighty ninety. So in Facebook, had this initial strength. Pulled back, got this little higher volume bar, got long right here, and as it pushed up, ended up getting out of that on this bar here. Uh, and, and then at the same time, we had this massive spike in volume, so when it just pulled back a little bit, I re-entered and rode this thing up, got out of my last piece right here uh, just about 10 minutes ago. So the beauty about today was booked some nice profits, and we were done before 10 a.m. Central, so love those days. Uh, excuse me. Uh, okay, on to the runners. Airbnb. A, B, and B. Had a nice big volume bar, higher than the first one. Waited for a bounce. Actually waited until it got up close to uh, close to yesterday's low. So it was right in here. Was either this bar or this bar. I got short, and then it flushed, got out of half. And when it pushed, made another push lower, looked like it was starting to bounce off this pivot. So I ended up getting out here. Left a little bit of meat on that bone, but... Uh, still booked a nice profit at Airbnb of 140. Just did a couple contracts there. Uh, Facebook, oh, I already mentioned that. I went back, got in. Uh, Lemonade, plus 228. So Lemonade, initial flush, uh, big spike in volume. So on this bounce, got short, wrote it down. And when it started bouncing, 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 ended up closing out of the last piece down here. Uh, Could have held a, a little piece to see if it gave us another push lower, which it did in fact do, but uh, I got out right here at this, uh, so I didn't sit through all this, which is good as well. Uh, so plus 228 there. MU was another big winner for me today, and this was a real quick one too, where uh, I had this big spike in volume. I just waited for this little pullback. So just on this wick of this candle, as it pulled back here, got long, and it just fired up, got out of half about right here, and then got out of almost all of it right here at the top. Kept one contract just to see if we had some more more in the tank to the upside, but then it just started kind of pushing, pushing, pushing. When we ended the live stream about 9.45 a.m., just ended up cutting out of that last piece and still booked a nice profit of 7.97. Uber, minus 3.80. Uber I may have been a little impatient on, but 
I was done for the day. So I just went ahead and closed it out. So big volume spike here on this bounce. We got short, it just kind of chopped around, chopped around forever. Uh, like I said, I was starting to kind of get impatient with it. And so when it was just chopping and holding above yesterday's open, I ended up just closing it out. Obviously, had I been a little bit more patient, uh, typically a lot of times I would give it to, you know, up to here to a key price level before I would bail on it. And had I done that, would have worked out well, but that's okay. Ended up taking a loss on Uber, minus 380. And then on Zoom, I did have, I was in the green on Zoom, but it kind of fell apart. Had this big spike in price as well as volume. And this little pullback got long. Pushed up here. I got at a half for a little over 10% profit, but then on the last half of my my position, it just kind of bled, 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 bled. Ended up finally cutting out here and taking a $60 loss. Ended up being a good exit because Zoom kept going lower. So those are all the trades, plus 885 on the morning. Third nice green day in a row for the week. So I will take it. Uh, we'll be streaming live tomorrow on Thursday. We will be offline on Friday. So look forward to seeing you in the live stream room tomorrow. See you then.